Welcome back to another video here at Hostway's Exotics. I'm Hostway, and in today's video, we're going to be doing an enclosure build for my brand new snake, the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. So stay tuned, guys, and check it out. All right, so very first step in our enclosure build for the Crotalus Adamantius, the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake, is we need to go for our base substrate. So our base substrate is going to be a mixture of cypress mulch and it's going to be peat moss. So those are going to be our two main ingredients. And we'll throw some of that. That's just a little piece of an old bag I had. And I got a whole fresh one right here. But we're gonna go ahead and time lapse this and we'll see you in just a few minutes whenever we get done with all this. All right, so now that we got all of our substrate in here that I think is a good ample amount, we kind of got it all mixed in here pretty good. I think that's gonna be a pretty good base substrate. The cypress mulch is gonna help the whole humidity in. The peat moss is real good for that as well. And it gives you a real naturalistic look in my opinion for that. So the next thing we gotta do is we have to find a hide. So I got one for right now. I'm gonna get some more coming in soon. This one's just gonna have to work. This is just a typical reptile hide that I use for a lot of different things with my venomous snakes and all. They're just easy to clean. And that's why I like them. I know they're pretty simplistic, but I also have my good cleaning spray, which is your chlorhexidine solution. I'll put a link for those down in the description. So you guys wanna check out some of that stuff it is a disinfectant and cleaner that is animal safe for all your reptiles and I like to use that to clean out most of my stuff before I use it so I think I'm gonna put the heating side I'm gonna be over here on the left I think that'll be good for them so I'll probably put the hide over here so you can have a warm hide if anything I have a giant piece of cork bark here that I think is going to look pretty awesome in here. I think you'll be able to slide in and slide out pretty easy. If not, I can kind of open it up some. I might turn it around this way and kind of see maybe I can catch them in their head or something. And then I got a water bowl for them, which you guys know I like to use these here. These are the Exoterra Extra Large Water Bowls. This is a pretty decent sized snake, even though rattlesnakes don't really... You know, I don't think they really uh, take baths like that. I think they kind of just, you know, drink water occasionally, but I like to give them a pretty decent sized water bowl if you want to go in there and do whatever. So, you know, pretty simple stuff. Got a couple other little decor things I was thinking about putting in here. It's nothing real, you know, super special for right now because I'm getting some vision cages here in a couple of weeks and those are gonna be the more permanent homes for them. So I did have this, which is a base for something that I had for another enclosure. I was thinking about maybe putting that in here somewhere. Maybe in the back or something, I don't know. I don't think that'll look kind of cool as like a little platform or something that he can kind of go on and do his thing if I ever wanted to. Maybe I can like put that like this here or something, you know? But I definitely want to leave that cork bark in there. And I also have a um, kind of rock that I got from outside. I've been sterilized and cleaned up. And I kind of want to add this in here for a little decor. You know, give them some actual 
visual things to kind of see and go around and do. And last but not least, maybe a little greenage. I got a little bit of little foliage stuff I might put on the back wall back here. I'm gonna spray these off and kind of wipe these down a little bit. Make sure those are good and clean. All the rest of the stuff I've cleaned already, but I just wanna double check and make sure. That's why I'm doing this, to make sure you guys know that that's what I like to do. But we got that good and cleaned up. Nothing too crazy. We'll add some more later on, but just to give them a little bit of foliage back here. Kind of look at. So that give us a little bit of aesthetic here. But overall, that's kind of going to be the whole setup there. We might add another thing or two if I find something if I want to put in there. But other than that, I think that'll do for right now for a pretty basic setup for him. I think he'll be happy. So let me grab my water jug here and we can go ahead and fill this up with some water. All right, cool. So we do got our lids. Uh, it's a lockable enclosure. Of course, since you're dealing with a venomous reptile, you want to always make sure you have a lockable enclosure which means you want to be able to make sure for 100% of the fact that this snake cannot escape because you do not want to make a mistake when it comes to these creatures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit my snake down over here and move all my other stuff out of the way so that we're safe. Snake stays safe and everything else. So get him in his proper location and grab my snake hook wherever that may be I don't know where I set my snake hook at how about that got to be in here somewhere what the fuck is this snake Alright, so let me go ahead and open up this container. You guys can kind of see that down here. So we're going to put our thing in here. Let's pop one side open here. You don't want to take it all the way off. Matter of fact, let's not do this side. Let's do this side. And then you grab your lip of your container with your snake hook here. Like so. Okay, the key to this is staying safe. Get up under the lip, pick it up from the side that's protecting you. Sit it in front of you just in case if you need to use it as a shield. Got a decent sized snake hook here. Last thing for the enclosure build up to finish this off is lighting. I almost forgot about it, but I went to go back and grab some stuff and add in here. So I can just add this in here at the end. So I got my lamp here. I got a dual lamp I think I'm gonna use for this. I haven't used in a while. So, cut this guy open. And we're gonna sit this back here in the back. set him up pretty decent little light so that way we can see our awesome animal here booyah And there you have it. You have the complete setup now. Now that I almost forgot about adding light on there, I'll let you guys, I know I was gonna add it on there anyway, but you know, just for the sake of just letting you guys know that I do have a heat source for them because they do need that so that way they can digest their food and all. But hopefully we can feed this guy soon and we'll get him all together. Now we'll finish up the video. So 
Hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you comment down below what's your favorite part of this video and the enclosure build setup and anything that I can do to add into it to make this enclosure build a little bit better for my new friend here because he's going to be a great asset here at Hostways Exotic. So appreciate it and I'll see you guys on the next episode.